the police have eaten. It's an exercise in futility. I keep saying that this country is uh, going beyond the stage where we can look forward to an evolutionary change. We have got a constitution, a very good rev revolutionary constitution. What good has it done us? He's talking about uh, devolution of corruption to the branches, to the counties. It is true, it is there. He's uh, talking about uh, uh, people within the religious fraternity. It is true, it is there. So when you get to this point where parliament has failed you, the constitution with all the other laws which are the children of uh, that constitution have failed you, that uh, you look at uh, the institutions that are supposed to be dealing uh, with anti-corruption, they have failed you. What is left? A poll was done by, for six year, by six-year-olds. De Deus, Deus ex, ex Machina. machina. Six-year-olds were asked the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? 90% of them said we want to be politicians. Yes. This is what they're saying. Gravity train. Yeah. This is what they're seeing. Gravity train. Completely. One of the free, my favorite lines in a movie called Black Hawk Down when the helicopters were hit in Somalia, two helicopters were shot down, and the American uh, <coughs> commander turns to the pilots and he says, we've lost the initiative. Mm. We've lost the initiative. We cannot afford that luxury, Jeff, because this is a nation that we hold in trust for this generation and generations yet to be born. Once again, I believe that the forces of good are there, but they cannot be heard even in their purest tones. I know they are losing heart, but I believe that is darkest before dawn. I believe that we can seize the initiative, the writings of Barak Muluka, the program that you are mounting, the voices that we can continue to raise. I believe that there are those who have not and will not bow to Baal. We must continue speaking what we must do now. And I want to use this occasion and the occasion that you have. Let us all use them to tell President Kenyatta, this is your watch. You have recognized that corruption is a cancer in the national body politic. You have issued executive order number six. Let it be the defining document, like the Monroe Doctrine in the United States. Let it be said that executive order number six is the order that liberated this country from the chains of corruption and sorrow and want. And let him jettison the individuals who are muddying the waters. And I believe that the bulk of the people of Kenya are victims of corruption. And when the chains and the shackles of corruption are removed, they'll follow the right direction. Mm. I believe they are capable of being liberated. Because if we lost hope, do we surrender? We cannot afford the luxury of losing hope. We cannot afford Absolutely. it. Absolutely.